I spent a lifetime working on uh, acute gastroenteritis, <clears throat> which is a major problem in young children. About 400,000 young children die of uh, rotavirus gastroenteritis every year. Rotavirus is the most common cause of, of acute gastroenteritis. The reason they die is dehydration. The syndrome is like vomiting, watery diarrhea and fever, and in young children this rapidly results in dehydration. <clears throat> in Europe these children don't die because uh, we have adequate treatment facilities, but in the absence of good pediatric care, deaths are common. So this is the reason why people have been working towards the development of a rotavirus vaccine, and I have been working uh, very much <clears throat> in the front line of uh, this research for this period. Now, uh, I'm very happy that uh, since the past 10 years or so we have vaccines available and rotavirus vaccine is making headway in both developed and developing countries. In developed countries, uh, rotavirus gastroenteritis or diarrhea is a big problem also. Not because the children die, but uh, because they need hospital care hospital admission, and it's not a trivial disease. If we didn't have the good facilities in Europe, uh, the children would still die. It is a fatal disease, but because uh, pediatric care is available and good case management is available, the children don't die. Still, it is an agonizing experience for the families. Uh, uh, it causes a lot of uh, anxiety and obviously it causes distress to the young, young child, something that we cannot really measure ob objectively. So there is a lot of need for rotavirus vaccine. At the moment, 77 countries in uh, the world have introduced universal immunization program against rotavirus, and uh, it's making major headway. In Europe, uh, uh, Belgium, Austria, Finland have been like the first countries to introduce it. Now Germany and UK have joined, so big European countries are also coming along. The United States, and Latin American countries have been used to vaccination for a long time. In Finland, we probably have the best experience in the world because our coverage of vaccination is very high and we can uh, reach like 96% effectiveness of rotavirus vaccine. So something that used to be a very common disease in, in pediatric wards is now practically gone. Uh, <clears throat> the, uh, we hope that the same will happen in, in developing countries, but their, just, their introduction of vaccination is just beginning, so we don't really know what the impact will be. The next virus in line, the second most common cause of acute gastroenteritis in young children, and the most common cause in adults, is norovirus. And this is like in the front line of vaccine development now. My own team is working on development of new vaccine against norovirus and so are several other teams and even pharmaceutical companies have become interested in norovirus vaccination. Uh, rotavirus vaccine is an oral vaccine. Norovirus cannot be given orally because we just cannot grow it in tissue culture so it will have to be a non-live virus-like particle injectable vaccine. And uh, the first clinical trial results are available and uh, there is reason to believe that such a vaccine will actually work and we will uh, and we'll see daylight. This is interesting because it's not only a vaccine for children but also for adults, for many special target groups. It's uh, norovirus gastroenteritis of course in epidemics. It can affect cruise ships, it can affect uh, the military, but especially the elderly uh, in, uh, in nursing homes and so. So there is a potentially lucrative uh, commercial market for the norovirus vaccine, which gives kind of a background support for this development work. So in the end, we hope that we will have a combined vaccine against nor norovirus and rotavirus. In the other words, we will replace the current uh, uh, oral rotavirus vaccine with a non-live injectable rotavirus vaccine. And that's the goal of my team. My research team is working on such a combination vaccine.